This is kind of sketchy. Polar status, sure. So I'm looking to sketch the polar region when I have some constraints. This is our first problem. So I have some restraints on my R and my theta. So what I want to do is look at that plane. Look at that plane. This plane over here! One, two, three, oh boy. My R, how far I go from. The origin is restricted between one and three. That's between these guys. So then, my rotation is restricted between this pi over six and that five pi's over six. He's really getting silly here. So when I'm looking at my pi over six, that's about here. Boom. And on the same side over there, I have a 5 pi's over 6, where this is my pi over 6, and this is my 5 pi's over 6. What do I want to do? I want to swing an arc between both of those two. So, boom, that's when I swing that one around there. And then, I'm also going to swing my 3 around there. So what I'm looking for is a partial annulus. <laughs> yeah, a donut with a hole. Well, a donut wouldn't be a donut without a hole, so what do I have? I have this hole piece here! That's so weird. And I probably shouldn't include these parts. Dashers, dashers. Why? Dashers, dashers. Because those don't have the equalities. Now we's gonna go over and we's gonna seize another example. Here I have a fixed theta. What does that look like? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fix my theta. Where? Pi over three, bam, that's right here. And when I do that, I have no restrictions on R. I guess I could put how far R goes, but this is a line. And whose line is it anyway? Drew, that one right there. I drew it. It's a line, it's a straight line. Now, let's go and let's get to some other polar equations.